Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dog Craft. My name is Stacy and I am joined as always by the Minecraft versions of my real life dogs, Paige and Molly. Pongo and Perdita are also here too. Uh, so in the last episode, I played a little trick on all of you. Uh, basically, all of the very, very scary things from the Mo Creatures mod came to the world of Dogcraft and started wreaking havoc. We had crocodiles in the puppy pond, and werewolves, and other wolves, and golems, and it was all for an elaborate April Fool's joke. Those things are no longer here in the world of Dogcraft, and we're going to talk about that in a minute because there's also another huge, huge, Huge announcement that I'm going to make today. Hi, Molly. Hi, Paige. Um, but first, actually, I was going to say let's head up to the Dalmatian Plantation uh, to breed another puppy. But actually, Pongo and Perdita are down here. Oh, my gosh. You guys are out of food. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is so bad. I've forgotten to feed my dogs. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab some carob chip cookies. Uh, by the way, just in case anyone was confused, I did accidentally give a cookie, I think, to some other Dalmatians in the last episode, but you can't breed dogs that haven't been tamed, and none of the Dalmatians up here uh, have been tamed uh, with collars or wagging tails. They are all uh, puppies that have grown up, so fear not. Uh, there was not uh, a, a terrible breeding situation. Uh, there just wasn't a puppy, and I've already added him, so hello, Perdita. There you go. Oh, wait, I don't think you had hearts, did you? I didn't see them. I'm going to give a cookie to Pongo, though. And then, yep, we are going to have a little puppy. And this puppy is going to be named Izzy. Izzy sent me a beautiful watercolor on Twitter. This is of me in a mesa, of course. Uh, but also, Nathan from Bookcraft is flying above me. I have Wink and Paige and Molly with me. And then in the ocean, you can see a whale and Amy Lee from my new Mermaid Monday series, The Candy Isle. Uh, so I really, really loved this. I love that it combined the mesa with the bone and all of my animals. And uh, I really love watercolor. Uh, it's always been one of my favorites. So thank you for uh, doing something different. And welcome. Uh, Izzy to the Dalmatian plantation. Hi, puppy. Oh, you look dizzy, Izzy. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead now, uh, I guess, and uh, head on down here uh, to the art gallery and check out all of the artwork we've received since the last episode. Episode 104 was called The Night Fight. I love when I get illustrations of these, of everything that happens in the episode. You can see Noah, Wink, and Everest all bloody. This one broke my heart. It's an, a wafer next to Maisie's grave. This is my whole world, which almost got invaded by terrible things. Uh, this is a, a combination of noob quest, bookcraft, and... Uh, Paige and Molly from Dogcraft. Just a quick note about Noob Quest. It's going to be on hold for a little while while I'm traveling. I'm really sorry about that, but it will be back. I love this one of all of my different animals from all of my different series. Dog Ear with his little book and Wilbur and Charlotte. Uh, and I got a couple from my new mermaid series with Amy Lee. I love Molly's little seashell crown. And then this one is from Bookcraft with Nathan and Dog Ear with his book contraption. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to head on downstairs and grab some... Oh, hello, Dr. Nine Healer. So let's talk about this. Uh, the last episode basically didn't happen. Uh, it was a copy of the world. And so Dr. Nine Healer did not die. If you remember from the episode before... Everest was in bed sick. Uh, Everest had been badly hurt trying to help me tame asparagus. And Dr. Nine Healer was nice enough to make a house call to check on Everest. So it was all a big joke. Dr. Nine Healer was here the entire time. I'm going to grab some iron. I don't have very much. I am going to need to go mining soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if Everest is feeling better. I believe he is. Everest, did you get enough rest? All right, maybe you can come with me today if you're feeling better. Hi, guys. Uh, I'll leave you guys to play. Uh, but Everest, you can come with me if you'd like. Uh, so we are going to be doing something extremely special 
on today's episode of Dogcraft. Hello, Felicity. Uh, but first, we have some sad business. Uh, well, I'm not really sure if it's sad business to attend to. See, for the most part, it's okay that everything is gone, right? No scary wolves lurking over there. No flying horses. Uh, no elephants that don't belong in the world of dogcraft. Um, but we also have an unfortunate situation here. In the Oh, where did my slimes go? Oh, did my slimes despawn? I thought they were still here. I had a bunch of cute little slimes here for the longest time, and I think that they all despawned. Uh, anyway, the sad news is that we have to... Oh, hello, spider. What are you doing here? Let me kill you very quickly. There you go. And... Ah! Gotcha. Uh, the sad news is, is that asparagus is gone. Uh, and this is sad. I'm going to talk about this in a little bit because I, I never meant for asparagus to have to leave Dogcraft. Uh, but unfortunately, you saw we tried to tame him uh, several times. Oh, I didn't really grab much food for myself besides these carrots. Where's all my pumpkin pie that I made? Where did I put all that pumpkin pie? Uh, anyway, I did notice, though, I don't know if you noticed, that Cinnamon Toast, uh, jumped over into the cow pen. I don't know even how she escaped the horse pen. Were you trying to get away from asparagus? Was Gus mean? Uh, oh, there's a chicken. Oh, sorry. Sorry, cow. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, okay, I don't know if Cinnamon Toast is actually tamed. I don't think she is. How is that possible? Come here, Cinnamon Toast. I need to be able to ride you uh, at least just to, I mean, I could lead you back to the horse pen, but it's much, much faster to ride you. So if you don't mind, I just want to, uh, th no, 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 Cinnamon Toast. Come on. Oh, Cinnamon Toast, you're being very naughty. Come on. We're best friends. I'm sorry that I let a zombie horse come into your pen. That wasn't the nicest thing for me to do. I admit it, Cinnamon Toast, okay? But you can still trust me. Uh, all right, great. Let's put a saddle on you. You have now been saddled, Cinnamon Toast. Ride! Oh, you're a great jumper! Ah, oh, there you go. Lovely. Um, oh, look, don't you look fantastic with a saddle on you? Uh, all right, we'll see you later, Cinnamon Toast. So here's the thing. We are going to go and do something now that's a little bit strange to do, actually, which is we are going to add asparagus to the cemetery. Um, I say that it's strange because he was actually a dead horse uh, to begin with. He was a zombie horse, and he was going to keep decaying uh, the longer that he stayed in our world. So it's kind of strange to add him to the uh, the cemetery because, well, he was already dead uh, to begin with. Uh, but we're going to add him here uh, next to Maisie uh, all the same. Uh, so let me grab the sign and then let's just put it down here and asparagus and uh, his cause of death. Well, he was already dead. Um, so I guess we could just say that he... Um, he vanished, and by vanished, I mean he vanished when I took the mod out of the folder. <laughs> um, whoops. Uh, anyway, that's why I grabbed the fern, uh, because I thought we should plant something green in honor of asparagus. Why did that fern, why did it plant kind of in the, why is it in the center of the, did you take my fern? I try to do one nice thing for asparagus. I don't have any wood blocks on me, Everest. So you're just going to keep the fern. I see. I, I mean, Everest did not like asparagus. That is true. Um, so I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Anyway, so I can't even believe I've been buzzing around here. And I haven't even said the amazing news that I have for you guys today. I don't even know how to begin to say this, but I know that some of you will be sad that the Mo Creatures mod is gone, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a minute. Uh, however, there's another thing that I have done to Dogcraft. There are now... Are you sitting down? I hope you're sitting down for this announcement. There are now 18 new dog breeds in the world of Dogcraft. I'm pausing because you probably passed out from excitement. Are you listening to me? There are now 18 new 
dog breeds out there somewhere in the world of dog craft just waiting to be rescued. I cannot believe it. I worked with the copious dogs uh, mod founder, Dr. Nine Healer. Oh, are you checking out Maisie and Nilla? Do you do, do you specialize in rabbits as well? How are they? I mean, feel free to give them a look over. I forgot that you could open doors. Uh, but all right, go ahead and uh, make your rounds, I guess, to all of the other animals in Dogcraft. I am going to sleep pretty quickly because if a zombie spawns, Dr. Nine Healer, I'm afraid for you. Uh, but anyway, uh, so the mod has been updated and there are now new dog biscuits. Look at these dog biscuits. They're a new kind of dog biscuit to tame the new dog breeds. Uh, now, unfortunately... I did have some gold, but I owe Madeline still quite a few gold, and she had threatened to sue me. So I'm just going to excuse myself and quickly sleep. I need to quickly sleep so zombies don't spawn. Oh my goodness. Please, 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 zombies do not spawn. And Everest, you just stole my sleeping bag. Oh my goodness. Uh, I hear Dr. Nine. Where did Dr. Nine Healer go? I guess she's just... Uh, She's just looking at all of the different dogs uh, and animals here. I hope she goes into the Quonset because I haven't really looked at Cinnamon Toast and Joey in a while. Anyway, uh, I can't afford to pay Madeline for the new biscuits. And Dog Guard ate all of the biscuits I had. So I'm actually going to go old school uh, and make uh, some of my own. So if I the crafting recipe should be the same. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like this with pork and bone. Oh, yep, there we go. Let's make, I guess let's make three. Uh, and then I also need to make uh, a collar. Because what we're going to do today, I mean, listen, this is a major change for dog craft. I mean, in the future, I think we're going to have to go on a major rescuing mission to try to get 18 of the new dogs i mean 18 that's such a big number how many dog breeds did we have right now we only had i think we only had seven uh because the bernie's mountain dog glitched and never made it into the world so we had huskies beagles uh french bulldogs german shepherds chihuahuas golden retrievers and um, I'm missing, oh, I'm missing one. Dalmatians, of course. Seven. We only had seven dog breeds, and we have 18 new, not including that seven. 18 new. Can you even believe it? Um, I think I'm going to actually grab uh, Dog the Cat's dish. I need to fill this up eventually um, because Dog the Cat, we need to make room for everyone now. Uh, we're going to need so much more space. I mean, luckily, we have this entire new floor uh, to the bark. We've got lots of new floors up here. Uh, so that's going to be great. Uh, so anyway, I think that we can put the orange dish here for whatever new dog we get. Let's go ahead and fill it up now uh, with some meat. I don't know if we're going to be able to find a new dog right away, actually, because we're going to have to go to somewhere that we've never been before. Excuse me, dog guard. I'm going to make an orange collar uh, as well. Uh, let me see here if I remember how to do this. Uh, so string with iron and i think they'll look different look at that they look different uh and then put in the orange and we've got ourselves an orange collar uh all right dog guard wish me luck everest and i are going on a little bit of a mission here um do i have any wood because oh there i saw dr nine healer she's heading over to the squickens now um i don't know if i have any wood it sure would be nice to do some boating everest uh, but let's go ahead and come this way, and I think that we should go over. I have an idea for somewhere that is somewhat close to uh, our house that I don't think we've ever been, which is beyond zero zero uh, in a different kind of a way uh, that I don't believe we've been. By the way, by the way, I am on the hunt for one dog in particular, uh, which is going to be 
Charlie. And that is because Georgia on Twitter sent me this adorable note uh, that her dog Charlie had been accepted to Addison's Academy for Wayward Wolves, uh, which I thought was so creative. She even sent me a little photo uh, with a letter. Uh, So we're going to look for a dog that looks like Charlie. Now, I know the 18 dog breeds. I don't think that we will find an exact Charlie. I think Charlie looked possibly like a Jack Russell Terrier, which is not in the mod. Uh, I think a Jack Russell. That's what he looked like to me. I'm not really sure, Uh, but we are going to give it a go. If we go to new chunks, then dogs should spawn in, uh, which is why I said in the future we are probably going to have to go quite far out, and I'm talking about, uh, you know, maybe packing a donkey, uh, definitely our sleeping bag and our tent, our backpack, and hitting the road uh, for quite a while, Everest. Uh, But anyway, I thought we could go over here, though. Now, here's the bad news I do want to talk about with Mo Creatures. I had hoped that I would be able to put in a modified version of the mod. That's what it originally started as. And then when I realized that everything was still spawning crazily, I hatched my plan uh, to have an April Fool's prank uh, with all of the terrible, terrible creatures that exist in that mod. Um, And I just realized that I should probably be on the lookout uh, for some sheep since Everest, uh, or I guess I can just click on... Everest inventory with a block and get my sleeping bag back uh, when it is time to sleep. That's what I'll do. I'll spare you, sheep. Um, I want to come over here. Okay, so I see beagles, obviously, uh, but uh, we want a new dog. Um, Are you following me, Everest? Come on, keep up. Uh, Basil keeps up a little bit better. Uh, But anyway, I had hoped that I would be able to have, you know, fish in the lake and birds, remember the the red bird that made its nest in Dr. Nine Healers? I had hoped for just a few of the passive animals like that. Oop, careful, Everest. Careful, careful, run past the lava. Um, now, I'm just going to put this out there. If you are a whiz with the mod, definitely go ahead and leave me some tips because I did change the spawn rates. Um, you can change them down to one. Uh, however, everything was still spawning fairly frequently. I even went into the uh, actual code of the mod and changed the spawn rates on the animals I didn't want to zero, and a lot of them still spawned. So if you have any other ideas, I am all ears for how to get, oh, hello, Squicken, uh, for how to get just birds and fish um, and like, you know, really it was just, yeah, those kind of animals, birds and fish and things like that, uh, back into dog craft. But all of those other animals do not exist. This is all about the dogs, especially now that we have 18 new breeds uh, to come and discover. So this is what I was talking about. There's actually a jungle over here, which I don't think I ever knew because... Uh, I think that I would have come over here to get the cats. Remember when I got uh, the cats initially, when I got um, dog and milk toast, and then I got them home? I went to that jungle that was on the other side of that tundra, and that was like uh, a lot farther than this jungle. Uh, so I just don't think I ever ran, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe in an earlier episode of Dogcraft, uh, right at the beginning of Dogcraft, I ran, uh, farther this way. Uh, but I don't think I ever knew that there was a jungle over here. Um, and Everest, you are going to need to give me my sleeping bag because the sun will set soon and I don't want to be over here. Oh, Everest, have you been, have you been killing some werewolves? You've got, you've got wooden tools, fish, rotten flesh, bones. You've got a, an insane assortment of things over here. Um, all right, so I think um, if we come over here, we can find new chunks uh, and hope, ah! hopefully some new dogs um, if I'm looking carefully. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Hello, pig. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? I found I found our first new dogs. And they look, they kind of look like Charlie, actually. You, oh my gosh. Like, you actually, I mean, you, I'm pretty sure, are a Papillon. 
uh, which are like the butterfly ears dogs. Uh, so you're not like a Jack Russell, but you are close enough uh, that this is perfect. <gasps> Look at you standing on the pumpkin all majestically. Can I tame? <gasps> I tamed you. Oh my gosh, you're Charlie. You're Charlie. Let me leash you. I've leashed Charlie. We have a new dog, guys. A new dog in dog craft. You are perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, quickly, let's... Um, well, it's not dark yet. Oh gosh, there's a lot of them. Do we see any other new dog breeds? Here's the thing. I don't think I'm going to tell you guys what the new dog breeds are. You can look up some of them, but there are other ones uh, that are not available in anywhere yet. Uh, and the mod owners were nice enough to make them for me. Uh, so it's going to be pretty epic when we start adventuring. Uh, but anyway, I am going to sleep soon, and then I'm going to take little Charlie home with me. Uh, look, oh, I, and her, the, um, her collar is orange, and I found her on a pumpkin. Oh, I hope, well, actually, Charlie? Oh, uh, Georgia, tweet me. Is Charlie a girl or a boy? I wasn't really sure from your note. Um, because it could be either. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dogcraft. I hope you are as excited as I am for the 18 new dog breeds. Until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. Charlie.